So saving files from R is a little bit more complicated than something like Microsoft Word, where we do file save and save to. What we have to do in R is set up what's called a working directory. And what a working directory is, is an area on your computer, such as a folder, where you can save multiple files that are generated throughout the course of an R project. What I would suggest doing for this course is to create one folder, preferably on your desktop, and only use that folder for R projects. And then inside that one folder, you can set up multiple subfolders. And then each subfolder will be a working directory for the specific project that you're working on in R. Okay, now I'm on a Mac, so I can show you how to do this on a Mac. What I've done is that on my desktop, I've set up a folder called R projects. And then what I've done is I've set up my first subfolder and I've called it my first R project. Now inside R, we can find out what our default working directory is by using the command get WD. And then I'll have an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis. I'll hit return. And then it says that our working directory is set to the main Brian Wasilowski folder in my users folder. So what our task is, is to set the working directory to the my first R project folder that's located inside the main R projects folder on my desktop. So if you're unfamiliar with how to find the path to a working directory, I've pulled up my R projects folder and I've double clicked on it. Now, if I go up to file, get info, we'll notice that under the general tab and where it says Macintosh HD users, Brian Wozolowski desktop. Now the caveat is that the folder is not included in the path. So when we tell R a specific file path, we're going to have to add the actual folder R projects to the end of this. Similarly, if I click on the my first R project and then I click file, get info, you'll notice that the file path is now Macintosh HD users, Brian Wozolowski desktop R projects. But in this case, we're going to want the file path to include my first R project. So we're going to have to tack that on. So we've established that the subfolder titled my first R project, which is inside the R projects folder is going to be our working directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to copy this file path and the file path is Macintosh HD users, Brian Wozolowski desktop R projects. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to come down into the console and I'm going to use the command set WD, which stands for set working directory. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to add double quotes and then I'm going to paste that file path. Now what we need to do is we need to add that last folder to the file path. So the folder is called my first R project. I'm going to hit return. And now we've set the working directory and we can tell that up here in the console that this is changed to the working directory. And we can also double check by get working directory. And we see that it's been set to the my first R project, which matches the file directory up here in the set working directory command. So as I've mentioned previously, it's going to be really important for you to have structure and order for the folders that you're working in within your R projects folder. So for each new R project that you're working on or each new assignment that you might be working on, you're going to want to set up a new and separate folder where you can direct the file path. So when you're working in and out of multiple projects, your working directory is constantly going to change. So one neat little trick that I stumbled upon that I use at the beginning of all of my code is that I always assign the set working directory command to an object. I'll put that at the beginning of my code and every time I bring in my scripts, all I have to do is run that object or run that code and it'll automatically set me to the proper file path of my working directory. So to show you quickly, I'm gonna do it in the console and then we'll talk later about putting it in our code is that I'll establish an object called working directory and I'll assign to it the set working directory command. So I'll control C, control V. When I hit return, we'll notice that there's an object put in our workspace called working directory. So now if I put this in my scripts, I open it up for the first time, all I have to do is call in working directory, hit return, and then it's automatically gonna be established to the right folder. This is a really handy trick that you'll find helpful when you get more comfortable with working with multiple projects in R.